All right, today I'm here with Josh Dante, and it looks by your hat you were in the U.S. Coast Guard. Is yes, that sir. How many years did you serve? Uh, four years. Four years? Like yep. straight out of high school? And yeah, it's, uh, so I joined or I swore in on uh, in 2001 and then left for boot camp in January of 2002. Wow, so straight in. Yep. Well, we're about the same age. You graduated in 01? Yes. Yeah, so did I. Yep. Awesome. So I just turned 38. Yeah, I turned 38 in June. Yeah, so yep. same age. Cool. Hell yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. Right? So yeah, class of 01. Crazy. We're like the lat. We get thrown into the millennials and the oh, Ys and the Xs and all that stuff. No. It's like, <laughs> but the cool thing about us is that we kind of got the last of what it was like to be cool as a kid. Yes, we got we like, got the nineties cool. You leave, and you don't come back till dinner. You yeah. know, and like the analog and the digital. We understand technology, but we understand the analog. Exactly. That's like the best place to be. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, we're biased. So, but that's not the point. <laughs> that's not what we're here. No. no. So, uh, what part? Uh, you said you were from California, is that yes, right? sir. Uh, what part of California? So I was in uh, what's called the high desert. It's between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Literally, to get from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, you go right through the town of Victorville, and that's yeah. that's where I was at. I actually not this past summer, but the summer before. My best friend, who was stationed in San Diego, has now moved up the coast um, in the Navy. He, uh, we went, we were like, I got, we got to get out of San Diego one more time. Yeah. And I love that place. And we had, she, my wife never driven, so we drove. And then we drove back through the desert to Vegas from L.A. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'd been, I went through there. So, uh, what'd you do while you were in the Coast Guard? Um, I was on, uh, basically, deckhand, you know, did everything from... I worked with doing helicopter tie down for our helos for a bit. Um, we did small boat transfers um, and stuff like that, all the way up to we had three migrant interdictions where we uh, picked up uh, illegal migrants trying to come into the United States. On the um, Pacific side? Yeah, on the wow. Pacific side. And we actually did a drug bust Ooh. Um, where we, uh, we got 4.2 ton, uh, yeah, 4.2 tons, I think it was, of cocaine, pure cocaine. That we, was it in like a, one of those cigar boats? Or? No, it was actually on a, it, the, the ship was called the Ranger Yacht. It was uh, actually a fairly big, giant boat. Um, we, uh, they actually had valves on the inside. They call them scuttling valves where they'll open them and try to sink the boat. And that way we can't get the drugs off it or whatever. And but just let uh, it go. And, and just, yeah, just yeah. let it go. But uh, we wow. wound up. I didn't so, even know that existed. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. like, if they know you're coming, they just pull the valves and just exactly. abandon ship. And then exactly. they're just sitting there in the water. Like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. No, we're just swimming. It's yeah. cool. We, uh, we actually managed to stop them before they could do that. But we wound up opening those up and uh, uh, basically sinking the vessel once we were done with it and got all the drugs off, got them off. And Is that the way it goes? Like that, Usually. Um, okay. some, of, some of the migrant boats that we picked up, they were derelict so, or they didn't work. So, we sunk them. Um, there was one that we actually left floating in the water. It was derelict, but we put a put a message on the side of it saying, "Hey, this is a this is a hazard to the waterways," and and put out an Alcon message saying, "This vessel's here at these coordinates." But that was wow. it. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So let me ask you this: Did you guys get so like Coast Guard? Do you guys get like intel from? I don't know. In the, in the case like the drug thing, we're, we're, we're like the CIA or the DEA. They're like, hey, um, by the way, look for this big ship. It's called the SS Minnow. It's coming up the coast. If you find it, they've, they've probably got tons of cocaine on it. Yeah, so I'm not 100% sure how we would get our intel traffic, but we would get it from, um, uh, what was it, the uh, south area that they had their means of getting the intel and whatnot, and then they would just relay it to us and... You guys and go looking, go looking for it. Um, believe it or not, we actually—I actually did. I've circumnavigated the entire Pacific Ocean. So we went. I've gone as far, far north as two miles short of the Arctic Circle. Wow. And as far south as Ecuador. Wow. Um, I've crossed the international dateline and the equator, probably about five times each. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I did the daylight once. I went to Cal- I went to Japan for oh, okay. the summer. And yeah. Came back and that's a trip. Cool. To, if you're flying, I don't know if you're flying. But no, you we the, were on on the boat. It see was the interesting. sunrise twice. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. Intense, it was, it was so. interesting doing the daylight, uh, the international dateline because when you cross it on the ship, your day goes from Tuesday to Wednesday. Yeah. In I know. In an instant. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. It's just like Einstein said, time is relative. Man. Yeah. It's it's relative. Exactly. You have to have a, a point, and that's how we 
it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, it does, but it doesn't. You know, right? I don't right. want to get into that though because it just makes my head. <laughs> so um, that's really cool. Uh, did you? Why did you pick the Coast Guard? Is this like something that you wanted um, to do? Or? Yeah. Well, my parents are both Navy. Okay. Um, they actually met down at Miramar, which was Fighter Town USA back. You know, Top Gun, all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and they just said, no, don't go to the Navy. Um, you probably can't do the Army, so don't go to the Army. Don't do the Marines because they're just crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I just decided to go Coast Guard. Coast Guard. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool that you got a chance to serve in, in the capacity and all that yeah. stuff. And, uh, um, Saw a lot more than people think the Coast Guard does. Yeah, so. I didn't. I really didn't think they went out that far. Well, Coast Guard is actually, so it was mostly reserves, but we actually had Coast Guard over in the, uh, the Gulf area, especially during... Because when I joined was right after 9-11. Yeah, it was so they kind of used during you During the height of that. Yeah. We actually were supposed to get orders to go over there. Um, and they canceled them last minute. So we wound up doing a, a different patrol where I got to go to Japan. I got to go to Thailand and, and a couple other areas. That's really cool. Um, I know so, I did yeah. Coast Guard when it, I, oh, I just assumed to guard the coast. And that yeah. Was it. No, no, yeah. We, uh, we actually had a, we had a Coast Guard member die in the Persian Gulf. He was uh, there conducting a... Um, uh, uh, a check on a cargo container ship and somebody tossed out a grenade and he jumped on it. And oh, man. It was, uh, I think, right about 2003. And uh, one of the new ships that we have in our fleet um, was actually just named after him. Wow. So That's a pretty big honor. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it was, wow. it was, it was crazy. I Somewhere, i got to find it, I have a coin his family created to help raise funds for him and whatnot. I bought one. That's cool. It's yeah. really awesome. Well, um, thanks for coming to lunch today. Yeah, thanks no, for, uh, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, of course. Thank you for your service and uh, yeah. uh, very, very cool conversation. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem.